Okay guys, today's topic, Excel pivot tables, four things we're going to cover. Adding a month column for improved reporting, sometimes some monthly analysis is needed, comes in really handy. Creating the pivot table itself, we've covered that in the past, we're going to do a little bit more of that today. Sorting and then formatting the pivot table in a variety of different ways. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here we have our test data that we've gotten from our IT shop. And uh, as you can see, going from the left to the right here, we got name, uh, where they're from, country and city. We got the sales date, which is good to have, and the sales amount, of course. And then we got some demographic information in there, job title, how often they come to the website. We're gonna assume that we're selling over the web here. And then what gender they are. It's gonna be interesting to see if sales differ by gender or maybe the frequency by which someone comes to the website. All that could be very interesting to know. Let's assume that you want to uh, you want to do reporting on month, not just the date, but the month that the actual sales took place in, and that month isn't here. So we have to calculate that. Well, fortunately in Excel, that is really, really simple to do. The way you do this is just highlight the column by which you want to put the month column next to. Right mouse click, click insert. I'm just give this a title, sales month. And then we're going to insert an Excel formula for month to calculate the month based on another cell, in this case a date cell, uh, right next to it. Now there's there's a lot of different ways to do this, but this is simple. I've got this one memorized, and uh, so bear bear with me on this. So the way you do that is uh, equal sign, and then your formula, which is going to be month, month, and I'm going to have an open parent. Click on the cell that I want to calculate to a month. Close parent. Hit enter, and there you have, and you can see that the sales took place in. February and that was month number two. Now we want to insert this in all thousand rows of data. Now we have a thousand rows of data here. We'll, we'll go look at it. If you control end, you can go all the way to the end here and you can see over here that we have a thousand rows of data. So let's go back up by hitting control home. That takes you back up. And the way to copy this down. You want each of these rows to have a sales month. The way you do that is, and then there's again several ways to do this, but the easiest way is to place your cursor in the lower right hand corner until, until it turns into a cross, double click, and there you've inserted the month into all of these, uh, all of these fields that you can see right here. And let's clean that up a little bit, put this in the middle here, and uh, there we've got our sales month. Okay. Now, at this point, we are ready to uh, start with our pivot table. So the way we do our pivot table is highlight all of your columns over here in the upper left and go to insert, pivot table, and let's just take the defaults, keep it simple. And here you have your pivot table canvas, so to speak. Your pivot table is going to go over here on the left. Now over here on the right are the various fields that we have to work with. Now this is where the magic happens, is this little quadrant down here on the lower right. You can apply filters based on this data. You can turn data into columns, and you can of course have rows, and then each of those rows will have values associated with it. So let's just play with this for just a minute here. So let's say now we want to look at our data by, let's just say date. And uh, we will create a, uh, a date report and we'll sort it in a descending date order from earliest January to uh, latest in December. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll insert the amount, of course, to see what our sales by date are. So the way to do this is you just simply go up to the sales date field, drag it down to your row labels. There's all of our dates in, uh, in date order by the sales date. And we'll bring the amount over here. Now, it gives us a count at this point. Now, there's ways to play with this default, but it's beyond this. But uh, anyway, to change that, we covered this in another video, but to change that, go to just click on this count field here, go to value fields, change that to a sum, and there you have the sum. Let's convert this to a dollar value here, and I don't want to see, I'm not worried about uh, anything to the right of the decimal, so let's just take that away. And here you've got a pretty, uh, a pretty good looking, a good looking uh, uh, graph here, or a good, good looking report rather. So uh, that's 
one way. Let's say we wanted to uh, look at this by month instead. Well, we can take the sales date out here, insert the sales month, which is here, and uh, there you have a, a report of sales by each month. Now, there's this blank row here, which Excel often inserts. The way to get rid of that is you can go up here, and instead of selecting all, you can deselect blank, and there your blank row goes away. So here you got a pretty good looking, uh, good looking report. Let's just imagine that we want to look at our sales by gender, but by the month in which the sale took place. Could be a challenge, but not here. You're going to get this real easily here. So the way we do that is uh, instead of bringing month here to the row, we're going to bring the month over here. And we are going to bring, oh, so, so now I have a column for each month, okay? And uh, I want to, let's, let's just say I want to center that. And uh, I want to look at this now by gender. So we drag gender here to the row label. And there you can see the month of the sale by the gender of the person that, 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 that made the sale. Now, let's say we want to look at that by, oh gosh, let's pick something else. Website frequency. That could be, that could be pretty interesting to look at. Let's remove gender. And here's website frequency. And this is a report now of all of the, uh, the sales by month by the frequency by which they came to the website. Now, let's, let's, even, let's change this up a little bit also. And this, this really gives you the, shows you the, the power that you, that you have with Excel. Let's say we want to look at averages instead of sums. So on, on average, what is our uh, sales by month by gender, for instance? So the way you can do that is you can, again, click down here on my value field settings and change that to average. And you notice you can do the same with maximum, minimum, and, and there's all sorts of calculations here. This is an enormously powerful uh, feature here in Excel. But we're looking at averages here, and there are my average purchases by the, t by the uh, amount of frequency, the frequency by which they came to the website. If we think that doesn't make sense, we can just simply remove that. And here is our sales amount by month. If we want to look at that a different way, we can pull the sales month down here to the row column. And there you have your average sales amount by month. If we want to sort that into our most um, uh, our, our best sale months, maybe we want to see that at the top. You can right mouse click on the amount field here, uh, sort uh, largest to smallest, and you can see that uh, February is our biggest, uh, our, our busiest month. So there we covered all sorts of uh, of ways to uh, to 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 play with your data in Excel, to do the analysis of your data in Excel. The more you can learn this, the better off you're going to be uh, out there in the working world. So thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you have a great rest of your day.